Well, hello again. Welcome to Aberhalt Junction. Um, I was going to do a run-in session tonight, as you can probably see in the background. I've actually laid some track, but instead, in my boiling hot warm shed, um, I'm going to show you some bits that I managed to pick up today from my uncle, who was getting rid of a load of stuff from his attic. Very exciting. There's lots of goodies here. Um, I'll have a quick look through them, but there's quite a few nice things to find. Oh, let me just scrape you down a bit. Apologies. Okay. So this is R331 London Road Station. Um, oh. And a coupler. That's a couple of quid if I was buying that today. Um, instead of <laughs> oh well, there we go. Instead of London Road Station, there's actually a, a depot, which is handy. I need one of these. That's the best part of 20 quid. I know the, the stuff is Hornby and it's not quite as good as the gear you can get nowadays. Um, but it's free. So it'll find a place on my layout somewhere, I'm sure. Some platform bits and bobs. More little half platforms, which is handy. I do actually have a narrow heritage um, part of my circuit. This here for those who haven't seen my previous videos. So, this section up here is a heritage line. The purple is coming out clear on the screen, I can't tell. I'll be doing a layout update on an upcoming video. Yeah, and there's a couple of platform ramps. Oh, nice. Ah, cool. Buffer stops. Two quid each, and there's four or five of those, and they look pretty much like modern, up-to-date ones, which is cool. Oh, water tower, excellent. I've only got steam on my heritage line, but that's that could fit in really nice. A couple more ramps and a canopy for the platforms as well, which is excellent. Oh, that's nice. Signal box. Cool. And it's got little detail. Sorry, the light's terrible. I do apologise. It's got a little detail inside the uh, the building, so you can see controls and what have you. That's pretty cool. Nice touch. Okay. Some fences. Another platform canopy. Another buffer stop. Excellent. Bad start. Oh, that's cool. Royal Mail look, um, wagon coach R416. Ah, 15 pounds back in the day. I wonder how much that is now. <laughs> uh, I'll put a link in the description to modern day equivalents. <laughs> R657, a Gerda bridge, £5.50 from a shop called BT's, which uh, doesn't exist anymore, it was, was in Cardiff. Oh, another bridge, I assume that's what's in there. Yeah, I have to build that. That'll be fun. Chanson Hunt Limited. <laughs> Little wagon, nice. R206 Chanson Hunt Open Wagon. No price on that. But that's gonna be six or seven quid. Nice. Ooh. Tunnel entries, stroke exits, 
which is handy because I've got I think six that I need to do on my layout. Admittedly very plasticky but I think with a bit of green and a bit of moss, a bit of weather and they'll uh, look pretty good. Be a shame not to use them as uh, as they're free. Oh that's nice. Four wheel coach. <laughs> cool, what a dirty little thing. Lovely. Again, it's gotta be eight or nine quid. Oh, I thought that said Marmite. <laughs> Doesn't though. It says Ermite. I zoom in a bit and you can see these things a bit clearer. There we go. Yeah, Ermite. Paint makers. R203. Or Trimite, sorry. <laughs> That's a T, yeah. Again, gotta be five or six quid. Oh, nice. R067, 45 ton. Open wagon subsector. Yeah, that's really nice. That'll fit in with my uh, mine area. There we go. Sorry, it's better focus. Nice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. This actually. Oh, sorry. This actually got me into the hobby way back when. I used to read. This track plan book. In fact, the colours that I've picked on my SCARM uh, layout drawings are uh, similar to these. <laughs> wow. I always wanted something this big. I don't think, um, I don't think I'll extend that, uh, be able to get that, but yeah, look at these, lovely. I know they're DC, but really something to aspire to when you're a kid. I actually used to read this going to bed as opposed to books. And there's all the part uh, lists for each layout. How brilliant is that? So you can know how much it's going to cost. Really handy. That is wonderful. I love that. Again, from BT's. Okay. Turntable. I need to zoom out. This thing's huge. There we go. An operating turntable. 23 quid from Cheltenham Model Centre. R414. Don't quite know how I'm going to incorporate that with my DCC yet. Um, but I'll give it a go. 6, 7, 8. 8 bits of track. And I obviously have to connect these Hornby set tracks to my Pico. Streamlined, so that might be fun as well. And the other bits and bobs you can buy in the set. Very nice, very nice. That's got to be 60 70 quid nowadays. I think. Well, if my light was superb, you see a blast from the past here as well. R410 Hornby, made in Austria. <laughs> Not China. Oh well. Yeah, this is one of the turntable pieces. Made in Austria. Let's see how it works. Okay, next. Another little wagon. A ventilated van. Focus. Ventilated van. R034. Again, gotta be. Six or seven quid. Nice. Ah, and then three packs of these overhead power supply systems. Uh, <laughs> R290 single track catenary pack. Um, <laughs> doesn't really fit in with value lines in the 80s or even now. <laughs> so I'll have to maybe repurpose those for something else. There's three packs of that. No idea what's, what's in those. I'll have a little look. Some loose wagons then. There's a Weetabix one. It's pretty cool. Oh, another coach like the other one. It's pretty nice. Oh, and a 
another of those chance and hunt little wagons as well. Plastic wheels, which I'm not a huge fan of, and obviously <laughs> everyone's favourite uh, connector, but still, it's free. Oh, a track maintenance department, cool. Track cleaning coach, R296. I wonder if that actually works. Doesn't seem to have. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's got. Um... I'll show you can see that. It's got some sort of rubber or abrasive pad on the bottom. Excellent, I don't have one of these. Brilliant. And there's a set of instructions, so let's see what it takes to get that going. That's some random platform pieces then. Pretty cool. Some sort of wall, plastic wall. And then, a big box of goodies. Double level crossing, which is nice. I don't have one of them, so that's ideal. And I'm going to have some uh, roads crossing my circuit, so I'll need those. A few buffer stops again, other water. Refiller, no idea what that is. Top of the building, part of the station maybe. It's going to be quite fun trying to work out how to put all this together without uh, instructions. Platform pieces, buffer stops, uh, bits for the level crossing, that's good. And the two gates are there. Mm. Oh, another. Bridge. He's very keen on bridges. I think I've got three bridges in total. That's pretty nice if I can get it back together. A straight platform. Maybe one of the tracks from in the turntable. Hmm. And another book for the station. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. And then a few odds and sods. Power connecting clip. Lots of short connected tracks. Yeah, Hornby track. I haven't seen this for a long time. Yeah, that's a nice slug fit. Very tarnished. I wonder if that's magnetic. And broken uncoupler. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, as I said, I'll put a link down in the description below. I've always wanted to do that on a YouTube video. Um, and I'll let you know how much all of this would have cost if I bought it first hand. Now, if the turntable table falls over. Now, in addition to these freebies that I got, which is great, thanks again, Uncle. Um, I also bought some more goodies to fix the mistakes that you have seen in the first video. There should be a link to it up there, or over there, wherever it's going to come out. Um, yeah, so I fixed some of the mistakes that I made previously, and I'll be yeah check that video out to see. Okay, um, thanks again for coming, subscribe down below if you haven't already, it's free, press notify and then you get a little red thing when, when people upload a new video, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.